clearest sign yet that the Trump campaign wanted to work with the Russian government to tip the election in their favor. Yeah, Donald Trump Jr. released emails showing that he knew Russian leaders wanted to help the campaign. Tonight, the Trump-Russia story gets even more intense. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan has the latest on the emails and what impact they may have, Dave. Well, the emails were explosive and they had a huge impact across the country, but tonight may change things a little bit. Tonight, Donald Trump Jr. tried to put out the political firestorm, which dominated the news today after Trump Jr. released a series of emails leading up to a meeting he had with a Russian attorney, the meeting that was also attended by the president's son-in-law and his campaign chairman. But it's the emails that poured gasoline on the fire. Donald Trump Jr. released the year-old emails on Twitter. Emails that contain strong evidence that the Russian government was trying to impact the outcome of the U.S. presidential election. The email chain was started by a British music promoter, Rob Goldstone, who had strong connections to the Russian elite and to Donald Trump's 2013 Miss Universe contest held in Moscow. On June 3rd, Goldstone emailed Donald Trump Jr. to say the Crown Prosecutor of Russia has offered to provide the Trump campaign with some official documents and information that would incriminate Hillary and her dealings with Russia and would be very useful to your father. This is obviously very high level and sensitive information, but is part of Russia and its government support for Mr. Trump. Less than 20 minutes later, Donald Trump Jr. responded. If it's what you say, I love it. Four days after the original exchange of emails, Goldstone sent another message to Trump Jr. saying a Russian government attorney is flying over from Moscow for the meeting on June 9th of last year. That would include Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort and the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. But Tuesday night, Donald Trump Jr. told Sean Hannity on Fox News the meeting was built up in the emails, but it was bait and switch, he said, and he ended the meeting early. But I think what happened, he sort of goosed up, he built up. There was some puffery uh, to the email, perhaps to get the meeting, to make it happen. And, you know, in, in the end, there was probably some bait and switch about what it was really supposed to be about. And so, uh, you know, there is nothing there. On Tuesday, the Russian attorney, Natalia Veselnitskaya, was asked about her government connections. Have you ever worked for the Russian government? Uh, do you have connections to the Russian government? Yep. They had the impression, it appears, that they were going to be told some information that you had about the DNC. How did they get that impression? It's quite possible that maybe they were looking for such information. They wanted it so badly. Do you remember what she's suggesting that you were pressing her a little bit for information? I, I imagine I did. I mean, I was probably pressing because the pretext of the meeting was, hey, I have information about your opponent. It was this, you know, hey, some DNC donors may have done something in Russia and they didn't pay taxes. I, I, I was like, what does this have to do with anything? CBS News reports then candidate Trump was at Trump Tower at the time the meeting was held, but was not aware it was taking place and only found out about it recently. Less than a week after the meeting, the DNC accused Russia of hacking into its computer servers. And in July, WikiLeaks began releasing those stolen DNC emails. And now some senators and representatives from both sides of the aisle say this will require a thorough investigation. This is obviously very significant, deeply disturbing new public information. Uh, about direct contacts between the Russian government and its intermediaries uh, and the very center of the Trump family campaign and organization. On its face, this is very problematic. Uh, we cannot allow foreign governments to reach out to anybody's campaign and say, we'd like to help you. That is a non-starter. And then there was this from Hillary Clinton's 2016 running mate. We're now beyond obstruction of justice in terms of what's being investigated. This is moving into perjury, false statements, uh, and even into potentially treason. Now, tonight, CNN is reporting special counsel Robert Mueller's office will examine the Trump Jr. email exchanges and the meeting that followed as part of the broader Russia meddling investigation. And that's according to an unnamed U.S. official who was briefed on the matter. However, a spokesman for the special counsel's office declined to comment. Jeff Lena, back to you.